Hey YouTube, we are going to review the Hollywood Nails. Um, it's one of the As Seen on TV products. Um, it comes with seven plates, the actual system, a really nifty 2400 gems, and it's really cool. I don't know if I can get a good view on this. We have stars and hearts and diamonds, and it's, it's a nice variety. I'm, I'm impressed. It also has a one-ended dotting tool, second-end nail art brush, um, dual-sided. That's that's a pretty nice little feature, too. They have over 60 designs throughout the seven plates. Um, they say, now you can have the hottest trend. The all-in-one nail art system takes the guesswork out of Aligning your design. Trying to accurately place nail stamps can be a nightmare. With Hollywood Nails, you'll get perfect placement every time. You will now get salon quality design at a fraction of the cost in the comfort of your own home. We all know they over exaggerate those salon quality designs. I think not. But they are beautiful accents, underlays, overlays. I have seen these stamp pads used in tons of beautiful nail art designs. So. I decided after buying one of the self plates that where you you put it down and do your own wipe and I I haven't had much success and I'm a very artistic person I usually get the hang of things very quickly and that was one of those things that bothered me okay so I'm going to take a second and open her up obviously I have not done so so you guys could see it I've waited all day for this so you guys could see it first so We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And we have opened and removed everything from the package. We have went over the instructions so I can give you a proper tutorial. This is what you get in the kit completely. You get the 2400 gems, which they have a selection. My favorite are the uh, black rhinestones and the purple star rhinestones. Very beautiful, but there are a rainbow of colors, many, and every one a different shape. Like the green are clovers, the purple are dots, they got pink hearts, blue dots, gold squares, purple teardrops, I mean uh, red teardrops, I don't know why I would say that, um, red triangles, There, there's just a slew, and there's 2400 total, so this was going to last a while. This is nice. And then, this is another really nice piece. You have a very fine tip dotting tool on one end, and a beautiful fine tip brush on the other. And not only do you get this, but they also include a tube, obviously, for storing your brush and dotter, which is nice because I just recently, I put that in backwards. I just recently bought a uh, dotting kit just for the dotting tool, which was literally the same size. Now, I have already took the liberty of doing so. I have already wiped down the stamper piece with nail polish remover, and I used a grit, a fine grit um, buffing block to give it a better adhesion, and that was also in the instructions. This piece goes make sure I have this right. This piece goes in here, which is how you you can see from behind inside of here, it comes down. That's what will come down under your nail and print it. Or what will also come down when it's down here, as you can see, to pick it up off the plate. So showing you how that works. Okay. The second piece that is part of the machine is the scraper. And as you can see, I have tried this once without success, but I think that was my fault because I didn't buff this down, it wasn't sticking. So this goes and pops into here. Now, these two buttons on the side, push together at once, that's what releases this for cleaning. Or doing, um, coming over a design and hand stamping with the removable stamp, like so, to get your toenails. Okay. I hate the sound of that springing. Yeah, it's on right. Making sure. Now the first plate it comes with is this plate, which I 
attempted on and wiped down. That's why it's kind of fingerprinty. Um, it's got some nice tips. They have seven plates total, and I believe they say it gives 65 different designs. 63 images. I'm sorry, 63 images. Um, you have a sun, some paw, I love the paw prints, some tribal work, some scroll work, some cherries. And with these, the back is got a black to it. It's not a silver backing. But of course, you want to get under here. Do not put these on there like that. You want to remove this blue film. Um, with For me, it's easier just to roll my finger across the edge until you get a lip started. And then because I have natural nails, I'm doing this one handed, yay me. Because I have natural nails, it's nothing to just pick that up. And as you can see, it's just a blue protective film. We can reach down and throw that away. And then you know your plate's ready to stamp when it's a mirror image. Hi, iPhone. Hi, me. But, yeah. You also have some other little nifty designs like the USA. These are more, this is your like your, your festive, your holiday. Like ghosts and the clover and hearts and love and the little present and the balloons and trying to figure, oh, that's a jack-o'-lantern. I had it upside down. Sorry, guys. The next one has some designs. I don't know. It's a doll of some sort. These look like they're pieces, like a layering piece. Like you would take the rose. First you would do the leaves and then the rose on top of that. Just good layering color plates. The, those are probably the color plates. Yeah, they are the color plates because here's a second one. These are just letting me know they're color plates. Like you would do the palm tree top green and the palm tree base probably brown. Uh, the candy cane and put the bow on it. These are all little coincide. Like there's the USA bottom part of the star with the top. So these are some of the same designs they had before. They're just in pieces so you can give a layered color effect or at least like a multi stamped. Again, palm tree complete as well as some other decorative seasonals. And the last plate has some florals on it, like a hibiscus and some roses. But all in all, it's it's a nice kit. Now for the actual method, I'm going to get these plates out of the way. And they do come with this little box they came in. I'll probably keep because it's nice to keep these organized. I'm very stickler for neat things. I just picked up a bunch of uh, Walmart totes today. So it has a locking bar. And you're supposed to be able to lock in. It does lock until you start moving a lot, and then it, it fails. It's already failed. And this is on a clean, flat surface. So you get your nail line lined up for this, and you lock it, which I have already done into place. And you go ahead and you pull this back. And you pick the plate you're going to use, and I'm going to use this one. And let's see, we are going to do the paw prints. So when you want the, the design that you want faces out. Any center design on this plate has to be done manually i.e. you would pick this up and you know scrape and and do it yourself only your toes or whatnot. but those are manual design only. Now I'm going to give you a dry run to give you an idea what this does exactly. As you can see you would push this forward at this point, your design has already been scraped because the scraper is down on a spring system. Now what's happening is you're pushing the rubber against the design plate. It's picking up the design, you're bringing it back to your nail here, and putting it back on your nail. But it keeps the alignment perfect, so if any of you had a lot of problems with the hand kits where you literally, the manual stamp where you're going and putting some polish and scraping a 90 degree angle and taking it and then popping. I have issues with that and I have pretty good art skills so this is going to be one of those things that if this doesn't work for me I think I'm done playing with stamping. <laughs> Alright, let me get all this together for us here. Let's go back and get her, try to get her suction cup to the base. Alright. Sorry guys, one moment. Ok, 
Okay. We are in on the base. And I'm going to choose the, the Boys in Blue from Fingers Heart to Art as a trial run. And you will just take your polish, try not to get in the way of the camera, and get a good little amount going on. Cover your paws. And you're going to do this rather quickly. And I'm going to get my nail here, pull it back, stamp it, and there's what we came up with. It definitely did the entire design very well with the blue paw. Um, I'm gonna get a good zoom on that. Very nice. My nail was dirty, guys. I'm sorry. I just took some nail polish off. But I really like the way it came out. Left the paws pretty clean. Took the nail polish and the excess is sitting in the sun. Also, just left a minute amount here. As well as it left an ugly blue line on this. So. Let's address the issue of cleanup. Cleanup is very important. You don't want to leave crusted nail polish all over this. You will not get it stamping properly again. Um, that's with anything. So you're just going to take a, I use these makeup toothpicks, I mean toothpicks, listen to me, Q-tips that have a toothpick style end because you don't want to soak anything in acetone and you would typically use a non-acetone nail polish but right now all I have is 100% acetone and yes so as you can see it got in the little corners pretty good okay with that wiped off you'll pick up your your spun I mean your um, rubber stamper and just go ahead and give that a quick rub with some acetone. That's what we were saying, yeah. But overall, this has renewed my faith. And, and you've seen it here because this is my first time using it with you guys. This has renewed my faith in the stamping because until now... I thought everyone doing this just had to have some sort of magic power. But honestly, um for eighteen dollars is what I picked it uh what I picked it up for at Dollar General. Um I'm one of those people like with the Magna Nails, I wanted to try it. I got a little blue over here. I wanted to try it, but I was not willing to buy it off the TV because I have had ridiculous I've read ridiculous things about ordering. So until next time guys, um, if you can think of any other local drugstore cosmetics, um, fingernail polishes that you wanted to see reviewed or swatched, um, let me know because I will pick them up and we will find out how they look. As well as I want to do a subscription contest soon, but I do need to have more subscribers. So guys, rate and subscribe. Subscribe. Um, so that we can get some giveaways going on. I am just ecstatic about giving everybody some freebies. So, Unless you uh, hate freebies. Yeah, this might be one of our freebies. They had a five or six of these left, so... Let's get me some subscribers, guys. Alright, until next time, I'll see you guys.